Hey everyone, welcome to another Stallman Scrivination. I know I say this every video, but I know it's been a while since the last one. But um, I think now we're going to be able to get a little bit more on the schedule, um, get videos out more uh, frequently. Um, I'm really excited about this video because um, I learned a new song and I thought it came out really well. There, there, there is a part at the end there where I messed up a little bit and I got a little bit lost in it. But for the most part, you can tell what the song is. And that's what frustrated me so much about the, the songs that I wanted to record back in January where I played the songs and it was just me playing the guitar and me knowing what the songs were still couldn't hear that song out of the recording. This one, I can tell what the song is, which is a big plus and it's a step in the right direction. Um, my transitions are getting better, they're smoother, and I'm actually throwing in different, different chords in there um, besides the normal G, C, E minor, D. Um, this one here, um, just has A minor in it, but I've been playing songs that have A and E and D minor and um, F and uh, B minor, not the bar chord versions. I, I still struggle with the bar chords, but there are ways to get around that, and I was able to play those. But let me introduce you to the song. Um, it is a Linkin Park song. And that's all I'm going to say right now. Um, I hope you don't really look at the description and see what it says down there. Because I always put the copyright stuff down there because I don't want to get in trouble. And have my videos taken off or the videos muted because I didn't give the right credit to where it belongs. So, it is a Linkin Park song. And let's see if you can guess what it is. So, check it out.
another cool thing about the video that I made today is so I recorded the video but I also hooked my guitar up to my computer and recorded it in a garage band so it was more it's a more clean uh, recorded also um, I was able to put some EQ on it and make it sound a little bit better um, it's kind of what I do at church is I I run sound and I don't mess with a lot of the EQ there but um, I was able to EQ it a little bit better and you're not getting all that background noise that you got in a, you get in uh, a lot of my videos because it's just recording the room sound versus um, just a straight recording of the instrument so I think that in itself is going to make it sound much much better you haven't guessed it and if you haven't looked down in the description at the copyright it is leave out the rest by Lincoln Park uh, it's a song I really love and means a lot to me and there's times there's, there's times in everybody's life where we struggle with certain things and Lincoln Park and, and Chester Benson is really big on mental health and, and unfortunately the way he went um, was really sad and um, was due to his mental health but he was always very high on advocating for mental health and a lot of the songs that Linkin Park put out um, helped a lot of people with their mental health. Um, I mean I don't really struggle too much with mental health but that there are definitely times where a lot of things happen and my number one go-to is telling God um, what's going on and relying on Him. My number two go-to is um, talking to my best friend, Machine. And then number three is Lincoln Park songs. Um, they get they get me through anything that I go through. Um, whenever I need to be hyped up, like. When I used to play tackle football all the time, um, I would put on the song One Step Closer on repeat, just play it over and over and over again. And I would be so hyped up to play and always had fun, had some good games, some not so good games, but always had fun. And that got me hyped to play football. But then you have Leave Out All the Rest, um, you have um, From the Inside, and there's a lot of my favorite, all time favorite, Lincoln Park song is actually off of their first album. Um, it's not one of their big songs. I mean, everybody knows In the End and Crawling and those songs there. But my favorite song off of that album was um, Place for My Head. And it's a good hype song. It, it, it talks about um, greed and um, the way people assume um, that if they're going to help you they're expecting things in return um, like when I when I go to help people I'm not expecting anything in return at all it, it's because this is this is what we are called to do um, love God love people prove it and if you go in and you offer help and you're expecting something back in return then you're not doing it well you're doing it with, with the expectations of you're getting something out of it but no you, you go in and you help out and you show love to everyone around you by doing that and that, that's why a place for my head is my favorite song from from Lincoln Park I, I'm pretty sure I think I could say that um, I got so hyped up singing that song and hopefully one day I'll be able to play that song but that's enough for today. Um, be sure to like and subscribe. I know I always forget to say that. Um, but hopefully if you like the video, like the content that I have put out already, like and uh, subscribe. Um, don't worry about that notifications because we get enough notifications in our lives that we don't need our phone going off with, with just something else. Um, so that's it for today. So remember, 
no matter where you are in life, always rock on.